All right, today we have another Sun and Hone. Uh, this is a vertical honing machine. This is a CV616. Uh, <clears throat> some people call it a cylinder hone. Uh, it's probably mainly, its main use is may, uh, doing cylinders, uh, but you can do any other kind of bore, uh, precision bores or, or honing, uh, and you hold the piece vertically. You've got a, a carriage in here that holds your workpiece. Let me open up this door here. Holds your workpiece, in this case, probably a cylindrical thing. Uh, you got different types of honing heads. Uh, this is a P28 style. Uh, there's a range that they, that they cover. The P28 has a certain range from, say, one point something inches to, to uh, I don't know what. Uh, then there's different types of heads that you would use. Uh, this would not be used uh, for a cylinder. Uh, there's different heads where they have like four uh, stones and it's kind of more like a boxy looking thing. Uh, up here is your down feed. I want to call it a hand wheel. I don't really know the honing terminology. But <clears throat> when it's running, it's going gonna, it's gonna to feed uh, with the P28 type tooling. Each division on here is going to be five tenths. So as this is clicking down, moving down toward the, the click off point at zero where the feed is going to stop, uh, each time this is moving, it's actually moving a, uh, a, like a piece of hex bar through this uh, shaft and actually uh, ex expanding the stone on the end of this mandrel, just like on a, ho on, on a horizontal hone. It's basically, you could use this same head on horizontal hones. It doesn't really matter. But, um, and then you have this cage here. You have a door that goes up and down. Uh, you can rotate this. There's a latch here. You can put this on different angles. I guess if you had a V8 and you wanted to get this way, then you want to get that way. Uh, you can move it like that. You can move your head. Uh, you get, the, get your tool centered. And then the whole base, you can lift up and down uh, with this handle here. Your belts and stuff are all up here under this cover. And there's a little chart on top about the belts that go on there and the speeds that you can get when you move them around. <clears throat> so this is currently wired for 480 volts. Over here you got an e-stop switch. Okay. The way to start this machine is up on the top. There's a switch here. You want to push it in. You don't want to have this on zero. Let's put it on five. That starts the motor running. Now when I pull this out, I'm going to put my glove on. Because if you're not going to put this mandrel down into a, a bore, it's going to have a tendency to want to flop around. So that's basically what it does. And as this is going, this is actually turning here expanding the hone each time, and we're only talking five tenths each time, but that is kind of quick still when you, we're going to get down to zero. Now there are adjustments, there's a limit switch back there, you can adjust that so that it kicks off at exactly zero, but the way it is, each part will be the same. Um, Another thing it can do is, let's take it back off of the... Off of the zero. And you have this button here that when I press it, it will dwell at the bottom. That's what they call a dwell. I hit this button and it will stay down. You also have a continuous mode. where it will continually do that. And why do you want to do that? Well, if you were honing a cylinder, the cylinders tend to wear more toward the top or toward the bottom, or the center, than they do at the bottom. So they want you to be able to hone at the deep end of the cylinder. We just ran out of time, it got to zero. So that's what they call the dwell. Um, it's a nice machine. You have a, a door here that slides up and down so you can get at it. You have a safety, a little safety uh, cage here. Watch it up like that. Pick up my glove. And there you have it, the Sun and Hone. Uh, this is the CV616, currently wired for 480 volts.
Thank you very much.